Hey there guys, Mike here. So last time we looked at uh, building a squeeze page with Beaver Builder and what we did is we ended up creating uh, this page here using a very simple checklist. This is ultimately designed to give away some kind of lead magnet or PDF download, you know, course, book, uh, template, worksheet, video. Maybe you've got um, like a, a free giveaway that um, you use with your customers, stuff like that. And we basically went through this checklist here to build our squeeze page. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to build the thank you page. Now the thank you page in my opinion is the most underused piece of um, page Sorry, in our arsenal as funnel builders, as website builders. Um, and there's no reason for that. If you remember, if you go back and watch the video, these signups here, when we built these, when we built these opt-in forms, they don't send you straight away to the content. We've got it here. We have this this PDF, you know, run a personal best in your next race. But actually what we want to do is redirect someone to a thank you page. Now, the reason we do that is sometimes <laughs> people basically have got wise to the idea of uh, being marketed to. So what they'll do is they'll put in a piece of a, a, a fake email address in order to just get access to the PDF um, and we don't want that what we want is real email addresses also thank you pages are a wonderful place for us to be able to introduce our business and introduce our marketing and introduce who we are and just start delivering them some more content kind of they've already got this guy they're quite excited so what we do is we actually send them that to their email now however you set that up in in active campaign MailChimp uh, campaign monitor drip get uh, convert kit you know all of the others um, you want to send them their PDF or their download or their worksheet or their video or whatever or their offer uh, coupons and codes work very well for real products you know you can get 25% off by signing up um, and what what you'll do is send that to their email address but redirect them to a thank you page now a real life example is on sell your service we redirect a lot of people to this thank you page it converts very very well uh, it's basically a, a video and it's an extra video on how to sell email marketing to their customers the second most important thing is that this is a great place to convert your customers so we sell these pre-written emails for nineteen dollars and we basically give a training video on how to sell email marketing to your customers and we say look if you actually want to buy some emails that you can sell to your customers you can pick them up here Notice up here, we have a little thanks for signing up. Your download is on the way. Um, and then we have just the rest of an offer page as well as talking um, as talking about who I am just to introduce myself and, and um, you know, uh, kind of some little, because um, our customers say lovely things, testimonials. So I'm going to go over how we're going to build this in Beaver Builder. Now, just like before, there are, of course, templates like Ultimate Add-on for Beaver Builder has some great templates. We're not going to do that. We're just going to create a, uh, a thank you page straight from scratch. So it's personal best um, thank you. And I'm going to publish this. Now, in some of our kind of forward-facing marketing marketing websites, what we'll do is, can you see here in the URL, it says forward slash TY and then 100, whatever it is, the thank you page. We'll actually put a parent page as TY or uh, SL is often sales letter. Um, LM is like lead magnet. Where sometimes we have SP for sales pay, uh, for squeeze page, or sorry, LP for landing page. So there's a bunch of ways you can do that, and it's just a nice way of kind of um, bulking them together to make sure that they're they're organised because it can get very very confusing very very quickly. So I'm gonna uh, ignore all of this. I'm gonna choose a blank page. And we're just going to go through this thank you page uh, checklist here. So first of all, we have thank you. We acknowledge their action. We say that we've sent it to their email and there's a spam filter. Now, remember, you guys can get access to this. Of course, you can get access to all of this, including our including our copy. So you can have a look through it and see what it see what we do. Then we say, look, there's a message from the company or a message from us. Message from company sounds very corporate, but it's basically just us saying, look, we're going to talk to you about this. Introduce a problem. Make a promise have a buy button we repeat the squeeze page content but for the product so sorry co content template so this template here this here you can actually apply to um, products you can apply to offers services whatever it's a really good way of of getting an offer across and demonstrating some value so we'll take the squeeze page 
content template but use the same for the product and I'll show you where we've used that already we have a video sales letter now our video sales letter I'm actually going to be using just an example um, rather than taking because we haven't got one for our for our scene reflective one um, at the moment we remove the top menu um, and it's a purchase redirect this time so we'll set up the purchase but I'm not going to be actually going into how we set up the purchase because there's a bunch of different ways you can do that and we'll do that another time maybe um, with PayPal or Stripe or memberships or WooCommerce and all these other various options. Gum, uh, is it Gum? Not Gumtree, Tree Gum, Chewing Gum. I can't remember. There's a, there's a, another e-commerce thing called like Gum something. So first of all, I'm gonna have uh, this here, and I'm gonna put a little row. Now I've already kept the menu there, which is annoying, so I need to get rid of that. I'm gonna have a little row up here, and I'm going to have just some regular text editor. I'm going to come back here and say, hey, thank you for signing up. Your download's on the way uh, to your email address. Important. It can take up to 20 minutes, sometimes longer. Now, depending on your process, you might want to have it say, to look, it should be there instantly. We say it takes 20 minutes because we want them to watch the video. Um, make sure to check your spam folder and read the page below on how to stay safe running during winter. So it's just a really nice little introduction. I'm not just going to put that like this here. Um, and what I might do... Not duplicate it. Is give it a bit of a border. So just one pixel solid. So let's save. There we go. So I just think that's just a nice way of just kind of just saying thank you. Now here's what we do. The reason we do this is because the. Um, the actual process of signing up and giving your email address to someone is quite um, quite scary. You might think, well, I don't know how it would possibly be scary, but the reality is that some people, it, there's, a, there's a fear of, oh, am I now going to get spammed or have I done the right thing? And it's, it is actually quite scary to give out your email address to, um, to someone, uh, particularly if you don't know them. So what we like to say is, hey, you know, you've made the right decision. First of all, we acknowledge you've made that choice. We say, look, you have actually, you've done this, you've actually done it. It's a thing now. Um, it's happened, which is super, super useful because it kind of reminds them that they have done it. It's completed. We've acknowledged their action. They've taken that action. And we also just say thank you, but also give them an overview of what's going to be happening. Um, what's going to be happening uh, to them next? Let's add a little bit of color to this as well. Um, what's our color presets? Where's our yellow? I'm going to put our yellow, and I'm going to, to make this just ten percent. Uh, maybe I'll get rid of the border. Looks a bit better, doesn't it? I'm actually going to get rid of the um, the menu as well in a bit. So next up, I'm going to get rid of the squeeze page one. Uh, I just basically want to say, look, here's how to say, stay safe and run more during winter, even if it's dark, cold, and wet. So I'm going to come up here now. I am going to cheat a little bit because I'm going to take out a section here. This is with Ultimate Add-on for Beaver Builder. Now I'm I'm doing this partly because I'm I'm. I'm quite lazy but also because you can still build these modules even if you don't have ultimate add-on for beaver builder it's just as you can see a header and the description so it's this they call theirs an info box but you can build them manually inside beaver builder so I'm going to take this self and I'm going to take this little bit here and I'm going to paste that in this one here is going to become Little heading three. Don't want any images or icons, typography. The title is going to become H1, and I'm going to change the color to this here and change that color to this one and just see what that looks like. How to stay safe and run more during winter, even if it's dark, cold, and wet. Uh, here's what we do. Get rid of this. That's fine like that. I'm going to remove this one. And let's put in something that's uh, maybe a bit more like a heading again. Uh, what's UABB got? Let's actually have a look at what their sections are because they have got a nice one on content in general, which I think is quite good. 
Um, basically, what I want to do, if you look at again back to this one here, is I just want to set up, you know, this 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 video. I want to set it up and show that it's useful. Uh, actually, maybe we will just leave that in there. And where's the rest of our? Okay, here we go. So we'll take this. Maybe we'll make a little mini heading out of that. Add content, basic modules, heading. Let's put that there. Let's keep this all. Here we go. See, our scene reflective has changed running in the dark forever and just working up a sweat by keeping you. Ah, this doesn't make any sense, does it? See how scene reflective has changed running in the dark. I'm going to get rid of. Um, oh, yeah, it's a lot of people didn't know this, by the way, that you edit in real time. So you can just. do that and hit save there's a few things wrong with this sentence so I'm going to come back here and paste that back there keeping you bright safe smelling good and warm yeah maybe that's all right it's just an example it doesn't have to be perfect yet Mike mm. uh, and we'll center this as well Cool. Now I'm going to add in my video. Now a video sales letter, I'll go over this at some point um, kind of in more detail, but I'm actually just going to take the video sales letter from um, our uh, sell your service one. All we do here, a video sales letter is essentially a very short video, maybe 20 minutes. It can be a lot, can be a lot shorter, it can be a lot longer, where we basically actually take someone through and we train them on something. We train them on something that's useful and show them how to do something, but then at the end of it, position a product. Now, for digital products and services, it works really, really, really well. For real physical products, it is more of a case of um, showing people kind of uh, it's actually not that dissimilar to the squeeze page content. Again, we go over the promise, we go over the problem, you know, what we're solving, why this is important, how we're solving it. And we just make an offer to them and say, hey, look, if you're interested in, you know, if you want to make sure that you are running safely during nighttime when it's dark, then buy one of our t-shirts. We have a really good guarantee policy in this particular company whereby, um, we'll make sure if, if you don't like it, you get to keep it and we'll give you a full refund. You know, we've got no interest in keeping your money. So, a video sales letter, which I'm sure I'll go over at some point. Maybe I've even got some content on, out there already on how to write one. I'll post it if I do. I'll put it in the link below where you can write a video sales letter. Um, in fact, I think I've even got a template on how to do this. Um, so yeah, that that's kind of how we, we position that. Next up, we've got our um, message from the message from company, the video sales letter. Yeah, I put a buy button in. Now the buy button. We're going to put this here. It should be centered. Um, I'm going to put the little PayPal. Now, you, what you can do is really easily set up um, a PayPal offer, a, a PayPal um, button, which will kind of automatically deliver you know, messages and stuff. I'm not going to go into that now because it can get very, very complicated. For example, we actually, um, yeah, for example, with this one, you can actually create even a light box. So you can even have people kind of just put in, you can embed PayPal forms straight into there, which I think is quite cool. Um, uh, eye composition before text, yeah, that's fine. The link is going to be to here, same window, yeah, style, center. I personally, well, we'll keep the round corners because it's not so terrible. I'm going to have it as our thing here, background hover color. What I like to do is choose the same color and then just drag it down so it's a bit darker. Uh, and then hit save. There we go. So that's that's the button there. That's the call to action. Now, here's what we do on, for example, our, our, our thank you page here. What you'll see is we then actually write a longer form sales letter and we keep repeating. We then have some social proof. Keep repeating this button. It's the exact same button. It's just cloned. Now, Scene Reflective, our homepage, is already a sales letter. This is a sales letter that we had written. Um, so what I could do is just copy this template and then put that in. Now I'm not going to do this on this example because you guys can go away and do that if you need to. This is a kind of a draft one at the moment. Um, 
but yeah we do have this content available and as you can see here in the thank you page repeat the squeeze page content but for the product that's what's important and the purchase redirect when they sign up needs to go to another thank you page or an upsell page which I'm sure we'll do at some point um, in the future so as you can see here we've now basically put together the but and it doesn't have to be a thank you page is really really simple it's also an awesome place for you to put your um, uh, um, Google goal tag so if you're doing in Google Analytics a really good place to put that you can pixel them for Facebook so you can measure conversions um, yeah th this is basically how you build our, our thank you page in fact I'm gonna come in and remove um, and have no header and footer uh, now usually I still would want to put in like a little menu another thing we see people do which is quite cool uh, I don't think I've got it on this one is the thank you page has um, like new blog posts so it has a, a just a feed of the current blog post kind of within that category so that's quite a cool thing you can do in the meantime um, yeah that's about it so next time what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going over a delivery page so how you deliver content because when we send an email to someone when we write when we send that email saying hey this is your you know your new lead your, your piece of content or whatever it is you know your download your worksheet your video your offer we actually then want to take someone to a delivery page we don't just send them to the PDF so I'll show you how we build delivery pages that work very very well they convert very very highly it's another opportunity to upsell um, and oh, just knock that over yeah I will uh, speak to you guys later